Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about the new makeup releases for this week. So if you want to see what's new and fun in makeup, then keep on watching. Also, if you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I absolutely love colorful makeup and everything that is fun and color. So if you want to see that more in your timeline, then subscribe to this channel because I upload three times a week. By the way, that look was thought differently let's say it like this but uh, I do love it I do think I have a like a passion for red at the moment I also wore like a more orangey lip when I started like the look and then I was like yeah no that's not going to work so this is the uh, outcome let's say it like this so but let me uh, go on this side and let's start I feel like we do don't have so many things. I feel like I do have like a lot of repeats uh, in my collection, which I do have on Instagram normally. I think we should start, at least in my opinion, especially with this eye look with the Glam Light and Strawberry Shortcake uh, collaboration. Uh, this involves a palette, which is the Berry Licious Eyeshadow Palette. It's 15 shades with duochrome iridescent shimmers and matte finishes. We do have gloss, lipsticks, lashes, makeup sponge and blush. This is super cute. Let me tell you, I don't know Strawberry Shortcake. I never see the series. As far as I know, it is a series. I never saw that before. So yeah, but I, I know the images somehow. Don't get me started on that. I'm from Germany, by the way, so if you don't know. The blush is a bright pink. I do own this color, so for me, this is a pass. Uh, the sponge is a super cute strawberry love that is really really cute um the lipstick is or the lipstick and the lip glosses do look really really pretty are um, more of these like reddish colors so if you love that maybe that is something for you the lashes do look also pretty uh let's talk about the palette though because i mean that is the so stopper here it does look really pretty do i really need these colors in my life probably not but it is really really pretty it is a combination of red pinks and greens again it reminds me li listen it reminds me of a larger version of the unearthly which one is it i'm not sure of one of the unearthly palettes um I think it's really, really cute. I do love that we have several finishes. I do like the colors. If that would be my go-to color scheme or my go-to colors, to be honest, I do, do like this way more than the Unearthly palette. I think this would be perfect. It is not, though. <laughs> that is why I will skip this, but it is super damn cute. Another super cute collection is the, um, which is it, the Menagerie Paw and Claws collection. I think I teasered this months and months ago, to be honest, and I was like, where is it though? I was, I was curious about the colors and now it is revealed. There are two 9 pen palettes as well as two pins, cat and a dog, which is super cool. Um, the claw palette is five mattes, four shimmers. The paw palette is three shimmers and six mattes, just so you know. So in the paw palette, there are two more mattes. Then shimmers. The pins, by the way, are holographic. They retail for $35 each. And they're also are launching two new liquid lipstick shades in Artemis, which is a dark gray, and Instinct, which is a fire engine red. I don't think these are on the picture. They are not. But just so you know, there are also some new lip products from Menagerie. They are available um, now at the moment. I do think these are really, really cute. I mean, I do own three cats, so of course the logical way would be the claws palette. But I do have to say both of these palettes are really, really cute. The swatches, as you see here, are really, really nice. Uh, they swatched more of the shimmers, of course, but yeah, super, super cute. Again, the pins are also cute. I do love animals in general, so for me, I would definitely buy both of them. They are so damn cute. I do also think that the color scheme itself are like a little bit different. It's not like 
you know, at this point in time, you can't invent a new color scheme. I feel like I do think that probably this color scheme was explored in another palette at another time point. But to be honest, I do think these are really, really nice. The only thing is for the paws palette, I feel like there is missing a really, really light shade because the lighter shade is the yellow and the yellow shimmer, which for me, are not that light, of course, because I am pale AF. In the Claws uh, uh, palette, there is one light shade, which is formidable. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, for me, I definitely want to want uh, to try these. I hope I can. Let me tell tell me down in the comments if you want to see a dedicated video to this and or to both of the palettes. Let write it down, please, in the comments. I feel like this week is a quite quiet week. I don't know, maybe because the most holiday releases are already out. Black Friday was already on Friday. We are on Sunday, but today and tomorrow is a Cyber Monday. Just so don't forget about that. Let's talk about the Victoria Beckham Beauty new lipstick in the shade. Boyd, is it? No, it is a posh lipstick moisturizing color balm. Okay, which is uh, Lux Lips in a single swipe with posh lipstick moisture color balm, ultra creamy moisturizing lipstick, which color, buttery shine, lightest air. Wow, that is. Um, on this is a new color in Alter Ego, which is a rich raspberry pink. It is a beautiful color. I do love these kinds of color. When I wore like years ago, I think seven to eight years ago, I wore these colors all over. At the moment though, I am not into these cool tone pinks. Tells a woman that has like a really deep, well, just skip that about that. But yeah, this is a beautiful color. Uh, Victoria Bedham, this, this color is 38 bucks, just so you know. For me, this is a skip because of this reason, because I do own these colors. I uh, am at the moment not into them, but if you are and you do love Victoria Beckham Beauty, maybe this is for you. We do have a new palette from Gloss Gods uh, Cosmetics, or is this just Gloss Gods? I'm not sure. It's a 12 pen palette with six mattes, six shimmers. This is the Smoke and Mirrors palette. It does is is a cool toned palette with some berries uh some it's like silvers a lot of silver i feel like silvers are in like last week we talked about the m cosmetics silver lining uh eyeliner and this week we do talk about the silver palette from gloss gods it is a beautiful palette though is it my favorite like color scheme? No, it's not because I am more into warm tones. Still, I know it is now cool toned era, I feel like, but uh, for me, this is the best because of the reason. By the way, just so you know, if you ordered one of the Secret Santa um, like bundles, the small or the big one, this palette is not included as far as I know. So if you wanted the palette and was like, ah, I don't know, maybe it is included. No, it's not included in the bundles. And I think if I saw that correctly today, they also restocked, uh, I think the tiny one. So if you wanted to have uh, one of the bundles, you could uh, purchase that as well. The palette is 38 bucks, which is I think reasonable price uh, if you see there are at least one multi-chrome or dual chrome so i feel like this is really like it's a beautiful palette if you love the color scheme let's talk about a new release from ace beauty and they're releasing two brand new palettes uh well let me see one is the envy palette which has seven mattes five shimmers and then the second and i think this one is the like more purpley uh, palette is the Aura palette, which includes five star dusted shimmers and seven astral mattes. I don't know why these, however, it's 12 pound palettes. I think they didn't do that before. For before the was 15 pound palettes, uh, they are launching next week on the 28th of November. I feel like both of these are looking really, really nicely. They are a little bit more deeper, medium shades. Not a lot of like really light shades though. The packaging is looking pretty. Both look pretty. For me though, there will, this is, will be a pass. <sighs> the problem for me again is that 
uh, Ace Beauté was not my favorite formula, matte wise, even though they were buildable, but if you wanted to do a like full on matte look, it didn't work out quite well for me. But again, I do have the Tropical Vibes palette and I think I will definitely explore it a little bit more and then, you know, decide it. But both of them are really, really nice. The packaging is really, really cute. So if you wanted to have one of these, they are releasing next week. Lisa Cosmetics is releasing, I think, 45 new products, if I'm not mistaken. At least I saw a teaser of something, some kind of sorts. So they are releasing several things. We'll start with two new palettes as well. These are the Metamorphosis, Metam Metamorphosis palette. Sorry, English not my first language. And the Evergreen palettes. They are all all 24 shades are also available as singles, which are between 6 to 10 bucks. And uh, those look really, really pretty. Do I need any of these? No, I don't. But they are really, really pretty. I think they had a really, really nice uh, color scheme. One is a little bit more warm toned, one is a little bit more cool toned. Let me see. Do I see a price? Yeah, they are f uh, around $56. Yes, it's dollars, not euros. Sometimes a little confusing. But yeah, both of them look really, really pretty. For me, though, I do have to say this is nothing that like surprised me and color scheme or anything like this. I do like the Lethal Cosmetics uh, formula, but it's not my absolute, absolute favorite. So this one is a pass. They're also releasing a new eyeshadow, like empty palettes, as well as brushes, just so you know. And they do look really, really nice. I don't see prices here, but yeah. You see, they're releasing a bunch of things. So if you want to, up to be up to date with this German band, then subscribe to this channel. <laughs> like, I mean, yes, but um, yeah. I don't see the prices again from the empty palettes as well as from the brushes. But uh, the empty palettes do look good. It's one of those where you have like two empty palettes beneath and then you can, you know, have a mirror. So if you travel or you're a makeup artist, this could be really, really nice. The brushes, again, do look pretty. Do I really need new brushes? Because I did buy some at like Black Friday. No, I don't need them. Uh, they do look good though. I, and I'm pretty sure that you can at least at some point buy them individually. So just so you know. But yeah, this one is the best for me. Let's also visit She Glam because we didn't do that like I feel like the last five times but yes they are releasing some new product products they are releasing the Moonside Highlighter Dream Strobe as well as the Sunside Bronzer Sunset Walk yeah that's the names I, I'm so sorry for that but in general they're releasing highlighters and bronzers as you didn't know they also had like just so you know um, I mean there are their liquid blushes which are which did go viral a lot of the times, as well as their liquid bronzers and highlighters, I feel like. And so they are now doing um, like powder versions, which is amazing. Do have to say, they do look really pretty. I feel like, I don't, I don't think, to be honest, that they go deep enough as well as um, like the bronzers as well as the highlighters. But I feel like it's at least not the shittiest shade range I ever see or saw. They do also look really nice. I think that the bronzer, the lightest one, does look quite nice for pale girls like me. It's not too warm, which is like essentially really important. And the highlighters do look amazing. Do you have to say at least two out of the six, six, uh, or even like or even three I could maybe use. So this is really really nice. Um, they are all under six bucks. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. I feel like this is really nice. Again, do want to do at some point a She Glam like full face. If you want to see that, write it down in the comments. Maybe then I can hurry up a little bit about that. This release I didn't find on any other like. Listen, I do, I do watch like makeup releases as well from other content creators, and I didn't see anyone talking about this. Maybe it's me. Maybe I don't know. It is just like not as exciting as an eyeshadow palette. I don't know, but Melt is releasing brows. Brow stuff. They are releasing the 
perfectionist brow bundle which is six colors which nobody needs why did you need it if you're not a makeup artist but then there is the perfectionist brow ultimate fine pencil $24 the max hold brow gel $25 and the brow pencil for $22 each we do have six colors which is ash blonde auburn for red hair warm blonde neutral blonde dark brown and brunette do you feel like at least we're missing one of the colors? I mean, listen, it is it is looking really nice. If you're really like a ash blonde person, I feel like this could be perfect for you. I mean, that is not. Oh, the bundle, by the way, is just I think three of the products, which would be a little bit cheaper than if you buy every single product itself, just in this, just in the six colors. I wrote myself about that. But yeah, this is, it is looking good. I do have to say, it is looking good. Again, you get every product I would normally use, a brow, well, not the brow pen though, but, uh, or the brow pencil, but the brow pen. I do love brow pens. I do love a good brow gel. Again, the only thing is the pencil, but I mean, I can work with that. So yeah, I do think the colors do look pretty. I feel like they you know, have a good selection, especially for the really, really light, um, like, uh, hair. I don't know, though, if that would be the perfect color. I feel like if you are really, really, like, light-haired, I feel like you want to fill in your brows a little bit deeper, but not too deep, you know what I mean? But if you are like me, where you have, like, really dark brows, normally you want to go lighter, which is kind of interesting, to be honest. But yeah, don't I feel like the auburn one for red hair. I don't know if that is working on natural red hair. This one looked a little bit more like deep brown like brown red, which I feel like if you look at the Scottish girls, which I'm so jealous about that hair color. I wanted to have that for years, but my hair doesn't want that. You know, then I don't think this is suitable. But, I mean, you do have a good color selection, and if this is, like, something you definitely want to try, again, Melt is not cheap, but, I mean, it does look interesting. Last week, we talked about the Juvia's Place, was it chocolate something? Chocolate box palette? I think I just mixed it up with some of the color balls, but it was like a chocolate brownie themed uh, collection, which was really nice, again, not against the, the collection, it looked amazing, but for me in particular, it is a skip. And now we do have another collection, and this is the, how does this, li like, listen, it's the Fuller Eyeshadow. This Fuller Eyeshadow Palette is a nine pound palette, and it has four mattes, five trimmers. It does look pretty. And you know what the only problem is for me? If you watch the color story without the palette itself so without the backing the empty palette i would totally buy it totally buy it would be inspired by it because i do see like the like the just the pans but because this has like a yellow backdrop i think it's not appealing to me i don't know what it is but it is so strange but again if i just watch the palette Without the backdrop, I absolutely love it. You do have one medium toned, I would say, one medium tone, like brownish shade. Then you do have a medium tone orange, a really deep teal, a really deep purple, and then you do have some shimmers that complements that. Again, there is missing an anacono highlight, at least for me, but other than this, this is looking pretty. And then when I see the palette itself, I don't find it pretty anymore. I think it's, let me see how much the palette is. If, is this sitting, it's 10 bucks. Listen, I think I will buy this. L listen, it is really, really pretty. I think I will buy this. It's 10 bucks, nine shades. Uh, again, if the backdrop wouldn't be like so permanent, I would love that. It is available by the way. Uh, by the way, I think with this color combination, you can do a lot of things. Again, I do love that there's one medium shade that is perfectly combinable with all different color stories. You can go with the like with like the row down where you have the purples. You can like 
the, the, the diagonal where you have the medium, then you have the teal and then you have maybe the gold on the lid or the teal on the lid or this other shade. You can also go like um, this way where you have like the uh, more browny shade and then the reddish orangey color. And again, I do love that. So this one I probably will buy again <laughs> for me. This packaging is not the best because I don't love it. But other than this, it is gorgeous and it is affordable. Fenty Skin is releasing a new product and this is a lip mask. Let me tell. It's a plush potting intensive recovery lip mask, which is a lip care for a natural, luscious, plumper looking pout. Uh, does it say anything about like lip plumping because then I'm out so much. It's $22, which is on par with, I think, the Laneige one. So just so you know. Uh, it smooths out the wrinkle. Well, listen, I maybe should have checked, should try that. It is available on the 2nd of December, which is like in a few like days, to be honest. I do love the packaging because you don't have to like scoop in with your fingers. You just can push it out. That is a strange gesture, but it, you get what you, you see the picture. You know what I mean? You, you pump on it and then it comes out, which I do prefer. Let me tell you, because the Laneige one normally has like a little spatula, which I always lose, or it gets cat hair on that. So yeah, it's, maybe it's better if, that I lose it and, you know, don't put it on with the, um, yeah, with the cat hair. But yeah, do love that. Maybe, maybe I buy this when my, I do have two though. I do, at the moment I'm using the Kaleidos uh, lip mask and I do have a second one, which is the more colorful one, like the reddish one. I never tried that one before or never tried it so far. So I'm quite like, um, uh, excited about that. But yeah, by the way, it is, um, it is like translucent, so it doesn't have a color. It leaves a clear sheen on the lips um, and it is vanilla scented, just you know. But yeah, this one is a maybe or probably, prob let's say a probably. Artitude Cosmetics, which is a UK brand, is releasing some things to on Black Friday. So it is already live. And as far as I can tell, there are some shades of this uh, already sold out. And these are the Duochrome singles and uh, limited edition for the holidays. And they're launching on Black Friday, which already was. Um, those are really, really pretty single shades. Let me tell you, those are multichromes. There are a lot of them. And there are also Duochromes. Again, there are at least seven already sold out so if you wanted to have any of the other shades you need to be really really fast tell me why uh, this is was so hard to find but i i'm pretty sure she will restock them at some point i'm not sure to be honest though yeah but just so you know if you wanted to have any of these dual chromes multi chromes whatever then maybe you should be fast here we also have a new, cos uh, a new collection from Trixie Cosmetics and that these are the Sweet Treats collection. We have two, three cookie quads, $16 a piece. We have three Sweet Treat lip oils and a six piece brush set. I do have to say these are cute. I will buy none of these though because quads are not my sweet spot for uh, eyeshadow palettes. I do think though that I do own these colors as well. There's a yellow, a red and a blue quad. The lip oils do look really, really pretty. They are really, really cute. I think one of them is clear, one is pink and one is a more orangey, peachy type. Um, the brush set, which a pouch uh, is looking also really, really nice. Um, it does, is a really coherent collection. It is really looking nice, I think. Let me, let me tell you, I think Trixie Cosmetics is really nicely. At least the, the collections I saw in the uh, makeup releases do look really pretty. So just so you know, if you wanted to have that uh, collection, it is available. It is it is available. So you can purchase that. Of course, you can purchase the whole thing as a PR box, which is just 
the palettes and the lip oils by the way it is not the brush set just so you know but yeah it's a skip for me but again if you love those kinds of uh, like palettes small cute again the like packaging is super cute maybe this could be for you Cleonard is also releasing some new eyeshadows and these are the Stocking Stuffer Trio. There are three eyeshadows and there are $12 a piece during the Black Friday sale and they are around 15 bucks each. There are a Slick Formula Nail Polishes as well as Psychedelic Formula Nail Polishes. So if you ask yourself what, what they're doing, like three eyeshadows and then a bunch of nail polishes <laughs> listen the eyeshadows do look pretty pretty those are not like those are more special shades it's not like a matte you know what i mean um i don't think though they are as special as their like stained glass collection or anything i am by the way will try cleonat next month Hopefully, because then they are coming to Monolith Cosmetics, which like is collecting indie brands left to right. Uh, Monolith is getting Cleonard, Adept Cosmetics, as well as Ben Bennies. So just so you know, I will I will buy these, and I am super super excited because I do want to try Cleonard uh, for 2022 so badly, and I am so happy that they are now coming to monolith and again i don't know if this collection though will come to monolith uh for me the colors is it's it's a skip um the nail polishes as well there are a lot of nail polishes here they do look pretty listen they really really do look pretty this is also not the first time cleonard is doing nail polishes with their dragon food palette they also released two nail polishes if i'm not mistaken so they do look really really cool so if you wanted to try a new nail polish with some i think they also like put their uh, pigments into nail polish which is an amazing idea to be honest uh you definitely can buy them um let me see, when do, does they release? They are releasing next week, just so you know. A pass for me, I feel, is the uh, new shades of the Kissing Lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. There are three new shades, which is Chic Pink, New Talk and Rosy Seduction. Each of them are 37 bucks. Listen, those are not new shades. Like, listen. I mean, those are quite normal shades. I would say it's nude. Like, listen, it's nude. One is a more pinky nude, one is a more orangey nude, and one is a more, like, rosy nude, if you will. They do look pretty, don't get me wrong, but for f almost 40 bucks, which, again, they are, I would have expected something different. Like, maybe a bright orange. I don't think they have that. Or maybe, I know, I know, Charlotte Jewelry is more about the neutral and the pretty and the natural. But listen, I'm not, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not. So for me, this is a skip. Again, the colors look pretty. Do I really need that? Again, for 40 bucks, no. No, we don't need that. So this one will be a skip. There also is a new Colourpop collection, which I would have expected at least two or three collections, to be honest, at this point in time, but they are just one. And this is the It's a Small World collection, so it's the Disney and Colourpop collection. I do have to say, I am not, I, I don't know It's a Small World. Is this a comic? Is it like a, a, like a, a real life? film or something i don't know there are uh, several products is an eyeshadow palette uh, pressed powder blushes uh tie dye super shock highlighters and the kiss fresh kiss glowy lip stains four shades listen the palette is looking cute i do hate though that depends on our uniform round or squared it's both i hate that <laughs> i do have an like listen i hate a I really do hate that. I do. I do hate that, that you mix both. The colors though look really, really pretty. It's just like the form. It's not, it's, I, I, maybe it is because of the franchise, but it's not cool. Then we do have three pressed powder blushes. They are all pink. It's not my favorite type of blush, pink. You know, I do like more of a peachy, orangey type. So this one is a skip. 
do say the tie-dye highlighters look super cute. Um, there are two uh, of them and then we do have the rolled of the uh, glossy lip stains which are like four of them. I don't need that but yeah the colors do look pretty. I am so sorry for the picture by the way this is like not a really good quality picture but I mean you get the gist. Again I do love the colors of the palette I just I can't handle I can't I can't I can't handle the different pen shapes. I can't. It is other than this is a really pretty pretty palette. But I can't. This is not can't. Bobby Brown is also releasing their new New Year's collection. The uh, Luna New Year's collection for 2023. And there are there is a Lux eyeshadow palette, six Lux lipsticks, uh, a sheer finishing pressed powder, as well as a serum radiant primer, SPF 50. It is all like in pinks and reds because it's Lunar New Year. Um, the lipsticks, by the way, are all red, all of them, like in different shades of red, but all red. Um, the pressed powder is like one shade. I mean, listen, that's that's stupid. And then we do have the powder shadows, which is a quad, and yeah, that is like a skip. <clears throat> I do think the lipstick, it, like listen. Bobbi Brown does have really pretty um, packaging most of the time. I do love their lipsticks. I do have their lip oils. I like the crushed line. Absolutely love that stuff. It is beautiful. And again, if you want to have a red lipstick and one of the shades is like perfect for you, go for it. The packaging is pretty. The eyeshadows though, as well the powder, like... You know, but yeah, other than this, um, it is pretty. Again, the packaging super cute, but do you really need it just because of the packaging? It's in a question. Again, if you do need a red though, this could be for you because it's like uh, six different shades of red. But yeah, other than this, I don't think you need that in your life. Another pass. Listen, I'm on a run here is the Byredo Purple Echo Palette. It is a five pan palette which costs an arm and leg. Well, it's around 60 bucks. And it's five colored, three finishes, matte metallic and ultra glitter. Okay. And it is, again, a really interesting shape. Yeah. I mean, if you were purpley obsessed, which I know at least one person. Um, this could be really pretty. I mean, the packaging is gorgeous. Uh, By Rido is a more high-end brand, so just so you didn't know, this is sixty around sixty bucks, just five shades, which is just one matte, by the way, one. Uh, at least as I can tell on the picture. So yeah, it is pretty. Do you really need that? I probably don't think you need that because we do have ColourPop. They do have a bunch of purple palettes you can buy. I think for that price, what like four to five palettes with way more shadows than that. It is pretty though. And if you're like a high-end bunny, I mean, this could be for you. But for me, it's a skip. I totally forgot to mention when I talked about Lethal Cosmetics, they're also doing mystery palettes. Um that are like giving you a color combo of for 2023. I think they're around 10 euros, a little bit under, and they are limited edition. So if you want to have them, there are six pen palettes, if I'm not mistaken, and they are from previous loved, um, beloved palettes, including the one up Berlin, uh, 8, 9 and the Jolina palette. We mixed and matched and the resu result are the cutest. So at least, as far as I understand, you get a six pen palette. You don't know which, which color store you will be in it, but there will be colors from previous collections and you can buy them for 10 bucks, which I think is a good price. Don't get me wrong. You get six uh, like palettes or six uh, shadows for under 10 bucks. Normally one of those shadows is around like five to seven bucks. Just so you know. So I do think this is a good color combination. Like, uh, it is really cute. So if you want to, like, experiment a little bit with colors and you don't mind maybe also getting a combination you maybe don't like, I think this is a interesting idea. Don't, don't hate the idea, to be honest. Also, there will be a new uh, collection from Catrice Cosmetics, which is the Fall in Colors palette, which is a little bit late. 
I feel like it's a little bit late because we do have fall now and I would wish to have that a little bit earlier just so you know but there is and let me tell you an eyeshadow palette a brush set as well as like a face palette as far as I can tell the face palette is like more highlighters and a bronzer yes three highlighters and a bronzer then we do have the eyeshadow palette which is a not bad reddish orangey palette with a little bit of pink and then there is a brush set which I don't mind the brushes from Catrice I do like a, like a lot or well, a few of them but it's also not like oh my god you need those brushes kind of a thing I don't know the eyeshadow palette is a skip for me I do have these colors like over and over I don't need these and normally the Catrice formula is okay but not like the best formula ever and the face palette is looking cute. I will definitely see if I see it in drugstores if the three highlighters would fit how skin tone. Again, the brushes is a skip though for me. These were all the new makeup releases for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave down a comment. What of the products like talk to you, speak to you, or which of the products you would definitely buy and uh, also write down which which of the products I should buy. Like, listen, I am highly influenceable, so just leave it down in the comments. I hope you had a great time with me in this video. If you had, please subscribe to my channel. I upload three times a week, and I do absolutely love to talk about, like, colorful and fun makeup. And, as, and if you are as well, then, again, subscribe. It's free. I would love to have you in my small YouTube family. And we see us in my next video. I wish you a beautiful week. Bye, guys.